Hey there, old school gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Grumpy Old GMs, where we uh, present to you as often as we can stuff about how you can tap into your inner GM. So today we're going to do part two of an NPC Rolodex entry. NPC Rolodex entry number six, part two. The story of Lin Fa, the noodle chef. So yesterday I kind of set up in part one how the character came to be, but I didn't explain how he kicked the party's butt for years as a zero level human. So that part is for today. So my mentor, Ron Watson, challenged me to use a zero level human to kick a very powerful adventuring party's butt. So respecting the rule about zero level, I did make him a master chef and I gave him an 18 charisma because Ron Watson only said I had to make him zero level. Didn't say I couldn't give him you know, non-adventuring skills or I couldn't you know, play with his stats. So Lin Fa had a stolen noodle recipe uh, and was running around in the Western, more uh, European style Forgotten Realms. And he had stolen the noodle recipe from Kara Tur, the more Asian styled Forgotten Realms. And um, the ninjas were hunting him, and including the player character Ninja Clan. They had a contract on him. So what Lin Fa did was he would find adventuring parties in the Sword Coast area, around Waterdeep, and so on, and Icewind Dale, and he would find adventuring parties, and with his 18 charisma and his personality, he would endear himself, he would endear himself to these adventuring parties and become their trail cook. And he was a master cook and he could find herbs along the side of the, the trail, and he could just cook these wonderful things. And, you know, I imagined in my mind that these adventuring parties would say, oh yeah, you remember when Joe the Fighter was our cook, you know, he would burn the beans every time, and stuff like that. Or, uh, or oh my goodness, you know, the stuff that the ranger hunted uh, has never tasted so good. You know, how did you prepare this deer? And uh, so Lin Fa would endear himself to these um, Western clueless adventuring parties that didn't know his history, didn't know he was a, a con man, didn't know he was a scammer. And so when the ninjas would eventually track down Lin Fa and show up to, to kill him, Lin Fa would have the, his adventuring party that he'd adopted run interference for him. And so a high-level fighter, high-level magic user, you know, high-level cleric, um, would all, you know, a mighty paladin, you know, would all of a sudden, you know, oh no, this is our trail cook. You know, you can't kill our trail cook. And so Lin Fa, being a scumbag, would use these good aligned, heroic, virtuous, adventuring parties to defend him while he sneaked away. And this went on for years of game time and also years in real time. And so as the story evolved, eventually the contract on Lin Fa had been going on for so long that the ninja clan back in Karatur uh, was going to lose honor. They were going to lose face for not fulfilling this contract in a more timely manner. And so instead of just sending over the original player character, you know, who came over the ocean to Waterdeep as a first level ninja, and of course he, he leveled up, he didn't stay first level forever, but instead of just sending over that one PC, the ninja clan eventually started sending squads because Lin Fa was just so elusive. And so one night, or morning, because it was 3 a.m., uh, one time at 3 a.m., three hours after midnight, um, the, I was in the original game shop's basement, there's my college years in the 90s, and everybody was so tired, but they were so addicted to, to the game, we all were, and they wanted to keep going, I wanted to keep going, we're all like falling asleep and stuff, and, and we have so much uh, tolerance, uh, chemical tolerance to caffeine at that point that the sodas aren't keeping us awake, and um, so the, uh, you know, we're all falling asleep, and I thought I gotta do something to shake things up, and uh, so the party had just f cleared a room in a dungeon, they would spiked the door shut, they'd set somebody to guard, and they were doing what we would call today in 5e a long rest. They were sleeping, the clerics were getting their spells back to heal people in the morning, the party was in recovery mode, you know, healing potions were being doled out, 
And all of a sudden, even though that door was spiked, uh, there was a huge slam on the door, and the door came falling down. These ninjas come in doing ninja flips and everything, and I had them say, Lin Fa, we have you now. And then they would saw they saw the party and they were, realized that that wasn't Lin Fa, and they were like, Oh, sorry, wrong room. And so they <laughs> they uh, they left. So um, the party got to feel that like this Lin Fa thing had become greater than just one PC's ninja backstory. Um, and it was funny. It got everybody to laugh, and we. We all woke up, you know, and, and played for several more hours till the sun came up. Uh, but uh, but yeah, that was uh, you know he he was just a flim flam man. He was just a, a con man. He never took a level of fighter. Never picked up a sword. Never learned a spell. Not even a cantrip. Um, and he the party eventually got him. They eventually got him. He was trying to sneak away like he always did. And what finally killed him was that he had not quite gotten out of the AOE radius of a fireball. Um, and so he died on the periphery of a fireball. Um, and he was a zero level human, didn't have very many hit points, so it wouldn't have mattered if, uh, if he'd made a saving throw or not, you know, for half damage. Even half damage would have, you know, more than burned him to a crisp. Um, but that, yeah, that is finally how he died. Um, so, you know, I could make up an NPC like that again at my table. Uh, but it would be a new one because I want to honor, you know, my tables and continuity. I want to honor the fact that the party, all those years, they actually got the original one, you know. <laughs> so um, that's an NPC uh, for you or an idea of how to challenge parties with uh, trickery, subterfuge, manipulation. It doesn't all have to be about hit points or or what we'd say in a video game, DPS or or high armor class or... Um, there's a friend of mine, uh, he calls uh, stuff like that dueling spreadsheets. You know, it's not, not just about math, it's not just about numbers. Um, and so some of the greatest challenges that you can give your party are social, you know, story challenges. So anyway, that is a thought uh, for uh, NPCs. And that was the legend of Lin Fa, the butt-kicking uh, zero-level noodle chef. Uh, if you you know, want more personalized coaching, I do have students that are uh, Patreon supporters. There's a Patreon link down below where I get in touch with you personally over the phone or Discord voice and coach you. Um, and there's some other grumpy old GMs I'd like to introduce you to as well. So it's not just me. I want to give you, you know, the best uh, education possible. And that's always with more than one teacher because one teacher can't know everything. Uh, and then uh, if you want to game with us, there's a link for that below. Or if you just want to hang out with us on Discord, there's a link for that below as well. In the meantime, I'll see you around the gaming table.